welcome to NTV English News Bulletin. I am Pawana Casey. In the beginning, we have the headlines. Silence period for Friday's vice presidential election kicking off from midnight. Election publicity barred until polling closes. Global bank stocks slump despite President Biden assuring America's financial system is safe. Such reassurance comes following collapse of two American banks. North Korea fires two short range ballistic missiles. The latest launch comes at South Korea and has conduct the largest joint drills in years. And Andy Murray knocked out by Jack Draper at Indian Wells. World number one Swayatek beats 2019 champion Andrescu to enter the round of 16. Welcome back. You are with NTV English News Bulletin. Now we have the news in details. The silence period for March 70's vice presidential election will come into effect from today midnight. The Election Commission has stated that activities related to election publicity will be barred for a spokesperson. Sally Graham Sarmaporta said such provision is being enforced to conduct elections in a free, fair, reliable and transparent environment. The Election Commission has asked not to solicit votes and be involved in publicity campaigns by any means. Three candidates are vying for the post of the vice President Ram Shahai Prasad Yadav of Janata Samajwadi Party, Mamata Jha of Janamat Party have filled their candidacy from the ruling coalition, while the CPNU ML has filled it Lakshmi Shake for the post. Pramila Kumari Yadav has withdrawn her candidacy to the post of the Vice President. She took back her candidacy in support of Member of Parliament Ram Shahai Prasad Yadav's candidacy for the post of Vice President. The government has re reduced subsidy it has been providing to farmers purchasing the chemical fertilizers. As per the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock, it decided to reduce the subsidy. A press release issued by the ministry reads the subsidy provided to the chemical fertilizer now has been reduced to 59.04% against 70.82%. It says the subsidy will be lowered to 50% gradually. With this decision of the government, the price of the chemical fertilizer would be increased. Prior to this, the government had been providing 80% subsidy in urea, 60% in DAP, and 59% in potash. Nepal nets 520,000 metric tons of chemical fertilizer every year. The 13th round of campaign against lymphatic filariasis in Dang district has also failed to reach its targeted population. Health protocol requires six phases of mass drug administration MDA to phase out the disease. However, in Dang, the 13th round of campaign consumption of medicine against the tropical disease. The nationwide campaign was launched simultaneously in 15 districts of the country aimed at ending the lymphatic filariasis transmission by administration of antifilarial drugs. In Dang, the target was to administer drugs to 80% mass of the filaria affected areas. However, only 77% of them could be accessed during the campaign period. The District Health Office Dang informed about 547,486 people of the district have been have taken medicine during the campaign that started on 23rd February considered a public health protocol considered a public health problem in Nepal. The government has formed a national task force for mass drug administration in high border districts. Welcome back. You are with the NTV English News Bulletin. Now we have the updates from the international front. Shares in banks around the world slumped on Monday despite reassurances from the U.S. President that America's financial system is safe. It comes after authorities had to step in to protect customer uh, de deposits when the U.S. lender, Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank collapsed. Joe Biden promised to do whatever is needed to protect the banking system, but investors fear crisis globally. Earlier on Monday, Spain's Santander and Germany's Commerce Bank show their share prices died by more than 10% at one point.
North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles off its east coast today, South Korea's military said. The latest in a series of weapons tests as South and the United States conduct their largest joint military drills in years. The South Korean military was on high alert and maintaining full readiness posture under close coordination with the United States. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said Japan was collecting information on the missile and that they have not confirmed any damage within the country. The launch comes two days after. North Korea test fired what it called to strategic cruise missiles from a submarine and less than a week after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ordered the military to intensify drills to deter and respond to war if necessary. India has asked the policy making and to banking sources said because of long running political differences with its neighbor. India, which has emerged as a top buyer of Russian oil as well as discounted coal, would prefer the use of United Arab Emirates dirhams to settle trade. Last year, India's biggest cement producer, Ultra Trek Cement, used Chinese yuan for a cargo for Russian quail, which raised some concerns among the officials as relationship between India and China has deteriorated after border clashes in 2020 in the remote Galwan Valley of Ladakh. More updates lined up on the other side, but before that, let's have the highlights first. Welcome back. You are with Native English News Bulletin. Now to more updates. The leaders of the U.S., U.K. and Australia have unveiled new details of their plan to create a fleet of nuclear-powered submarines from the U.S. The Allies will also work together to create a new fleet using cutting-aid technology, including reactors made by Rolls-Royce in the U.K. The pact is aimed at countering China's influence in the Indo-Pacific region. China said it will reopen its borders to foreign tourists for the first time in the three years since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic by restoring the issuance of all types of visas from Wednesday. The removal of this last cross-border patrol, um, the removal of this last cross-border control measure imposed to guard against COVID-19 comes after authorities last month declared victory over a recent surge in the virus. The boost to the tourism sector should help rekindle a $17 trillion economy that last year suffered one of its slowest rates. For updates, line up on the other side, but before that, let's have the highlights first. <music> sports. Jack Draper beat his hero and fellow breed Andy Murray in straight set 7-6, 6-2 to seal his place in the round of 16 at the Indian Wells ATP Masters Tournament. The 21-year-old Draper was ahead 4-2 in the opening set before the experienced Murray clawed his way back to level scores and take the side to tiebreaker. Murray has not won the three consecutive matches at a Masters 1000. In women's draw, world number one Iga Swiatek beat 2019 champion Bianca Andrescu in straights at 6376 to enter the round of 16 at the Indian Wells WTA tournament. Swiatek has not played a three set match in 2023-8 and is also on the course to become the first winner here at Indian Wells since Martina Nara Litova in 1991. The Polish world number one will now take on Emma Raducanu of the Great Britain.
Looking to reach the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals for the first time in 12 years, Inter Milan all that separate the two sides at San Siro, where Otavia was sent off for the visitors. But in Jaggi's men have not looked impressive since. They are still second in Serie A, but Inter have lost two or three games after beating Porto, including uh, including at Loli Spacia at 2-1 on Friday. Well, with this update, we uh, come to the end of this English News Bulletin. But before we say goodbye, let's have a quick reminder of the major stories. Silence period for Friday's Vice President's election kicking off for midnight. Election publicity bar team polling closes. Global bank stock slump despite President Biden's assuring, assuring U.S.'s financial system is safe. Such fires, two short-range ballistic missiles, the latest launch comes at South Korea and U.S. conduct their largest joint drills in years. And Andy Murray knocked out by Jack Draper at Indian Wells. World number 19, Swathic beats 2019 champion and Dresco to enter the round of 16. That's all we have in this edition of English News Bulletin. So I'll see you again with next round of English Bulletin at 6 in the evening. Till then, have a great time ahead and stay tuned with us. Namaste.